Howdy folks, we're back again at Kenzone and yes, the Corona is getting put back together as far as its interior is concerned. Yes, this car has got my Respect Your Elder sticker too. So the last to go in will be the driver's seat, but now the other seats are going in. So what's happened? Okay, something new and something interesting. They didn't wash, they didn't jet, they didn't have to jet wash all the other seats because they were not that bad. Not as bad as the driver's seat if you remember the previous video. Oh my god, I'm having nightmares about that previous video. So, so bad. So what they did this time was actually just dry clean the other seats because they were not so bad as far as the back seat is concerned, as far as the backrest is concerned. They just dry cleaned it and it's a lot, lot better. Hi Meng, how are you? Hi. Okay, yeah? So as you can see, Meng is putting back the seats now and I'll give you a better look at the seats after this. They use something called Tough Stuff. It's in a yellow and red can. Yes much much better so yeah the other seats were dry cleaned because the weather has not been too kind it took upwards of almost 10 days to actually dry out the driver's seat properly so yeah a lot of uh, a lot of work but i'm so happy to be taking back the corona because honestly i have not driven this car for so long and i've missed it i've really really missed it it's a lovely lovely car RK did a brilliant job on the uh, on the paint Yes, of course, they're going to wash the car later. And I've not even driven the car on the new uh, rims and uh, tires. So, yes, those went on some time ago. Lovely. You know, slowly, slowly, I'm going to start looking for other stuff, like maybe the inner reflectors of the, uh, of the headlights. Yes, I'll be doing that. Apart from that, this car is just running so well. What they're going to do next is actually clean the throttle body for me. Uh, they did that with the um, Sentra. Uh, long before the, the full overhaul and it worked wonders cleaning the throttle body so yeah we're gonna try that because this car is fuel injection not a carburetor so stay tuned and see what the uh, seats look like once they're back in the car alrighty then the front passenger seat right bro yeah also done with tough stuff is it called tough stuff yeah very nice very nice okay okay sorry sorry the seat okay. is damn heavy sorry <laughs> Okay, careful of the Mercedes. Yes! No need to work out today. Your gym session is done. Oh wait, that's the driver's seat. That was the one that was totally washed, right? Yeah. Oh, careful the body, careful the body. So yeah, very labor intensive work. And now the driver's seat goes back in. So again, folks, if you really want this done to your car, you must make an appointment because it takes a long time, right, Ken? Yeah. Yeah. Must see the sun. Yes. It's all dependent on the sun. Yeah. So yeah, it, it took about 10 days for this beautiful driver's seat to get completely dry. And I don't know how many of you can be without a car for 10 days. I mean, I was without this car for 10 days and I missed it already. Damn, those wheels look good. So, yes, the seats are back in. Tough stuffed. Ooh, smells nice too. Hang on. Huh? Ooh, smells nice, smells nice. Yes. So at the very least, even if it's not cleaner, it smells a lot better in here very very nice so cool so again let me reiterate tough stuff was used which was a dry cleaning on the passenger front passenger seat as well as the rear seats it was only the driver's seat that needed that very very deep cleaning in so far as using the jet water was concerned and uh, actual soap yeah but they've come out looking very much better and it smells nicer in here too oh you know what it's almost got that new car smell for a car that's 31 years old Lovely. So yeah, they started up the engine. She's still running very smoothly. What they're going to do now is let it warm up a little bit, then they're going to clean the throttle body inside there. And I think later Ken might be doing a special uh, signature on the, on the engine once it's nicely done. <laughs> Uh, I just noticed also this battery is pretty old. It's one of those old lead acid batteries, so I might get another one. 
put in. That's that's my grounding wire. So yes, still a lovely, lovely car. Normally, once it's been in, uh, hasn't moved for quite some time, it's been about two weeks. I normally do a very quick walk around and check, check all the lights. Yep, all working. Check the lights at the back. Actually, periodically you should check all your whether all your lights are working or not because, uh, especially the rear ones, when you're driving at night, you can't tell whether one of your rear lights is has uh, you know fused or is not working, and get somebody to press the brake light for you. Sorry, press the brake for you so you can see whether your brake lights are working, stuff like that. But yeah, look at the seat now. That's nice. That's much nicer. You know, I miss this car. When uh, in the uh, 80s, when UMW Toyota first came up with this model, they actually did peg it as a upgrade if you owned uh, the Corolla SE, which I used to have. So technically, I've gone back in time because I've actually upgraded from a Corolla SE to the Corona 2.0. I remember that vividly. I even remember the uh, the TV commercial. Um, okay, the, the TV commercial was, was quite interesting, yeah? There was this kid, I think, and she was she was wiping down the Corolla, and uh, the tow truck came and picked up the Corolla, and she was waving bye-bye, and she was crying, and uh, the, 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 uh, the voiceover was, the one good thing about letting go of a Corolla is that you can always look forward to a Corona and then you end up Toyota delivers the new Corona and she's like all happy and everything. Yeah, very cheesy, but you know what? It worked and I remembered it. So, yeah, so this was the um, upgrade, so to speak, from the Corolla SE. So when, it, you know, your family gets bigger, you need a bigger car, you love your, Corona, your Corolla, but you need something bigger, you get a Corona. And there we go. Of course, that's not the reason Although I did upgrade from a Corolla to a Corona, that's not the reason I bought this car. I bought this car to commemorate 2020, as you know, the year of the coronavirus. And uh, yeah, she's running beautifully. This engine has not had its detailing done yet, as you can see. So remember this because it's going to look better after this. What a lovely car. And now at least the interior is a lot cleaner. Yes, that's the... Uh, that's the gear knob that I actually got from Up Garage in, uh, in Japan. So, you know, good car. Ja uh, Japanese gear knob, Japanese car. I still have the original back home though. Lovely. folks you know what i'm really happy to get the car back i miss this car i miss driving the car and now with these beautiful rims on it i'm so happy so yes the interior has been done but ken said he's not satisfied and he wants to have another go but i think it looks great yeah but he's more of a perfectionist than i am but uh yes so we're gonna have another go there are he, part of what he wants to have another go at is like stuff like this which has actually eaten into the uh, fabric and uh, this bottom part of the seat although he's tough stuffed it uh, needs to be redone 
the other sides though, lovely, lovely and clean. The car smells nice too. So yes, very happy with that. And again, I, I still love the way the doors close. So solid, beautiful. Such a lovely car. And yes, the more eagle-eyed among you would have spotted the charade is back here for some uh, wheel bearing and brake work. So, would you like to see the charade? Well, now that you've seen the Corona. Yeah, it's been a while since I've showed you the charade, haven't I? So anyway, here she is. My cute little charade. My Daihatsu dad. Yes, this wasn't there last time. Dad, you better take care of my saga. Huh? I know you, you, my dad's using my saga now. Take care of my saga, I don't do that. Huh? Small car like this also, you can reverse into something. So you better take care of my saga, okay? Sorry, where was I? Yes, the charade running well, except for a wheel bearing sound coming from the front. So we're gonna get that sorted as well. This is still a lovely, lovely car to drive, the uh, charade G11. So actually I'm looking forward to driving it once it's ready, once Ken's done with it. I'll take it for a drive. But in the meantime, here we go. There's the Corona. I gotta say the 15s look really nice. Ken, these are 15s, right? Yeah, 15s. See, I got so many cars and so many wheels, I can't even remember what uh, what they are. Oh, it's out. No, it's not. I can't remember what I'm running these days. But, yep. Very, very happy with the car. Very happy with the way it looks. Just give you one last walk around absolutely thrilled I got the rear lights the new rear lights they make such a difference such a difference lovely so anyway that's it thank you for watching there will be more updates on the rock and rona not to worry in the meantime here's just a parting shot take care you all thanks for watching bye